All right. Seth came out to open up the, sh- the Raw show. This is the world-famous Raw report. And he said that there had not been a world title match on this show in two years. <laughs> Man, two years ago, this show? <sighs> Yikes. Mm. So Priest and Finn Balor came out. Priest had accepted the challenge. You know, people tied themselves in knots all... You know what's funny? What? So, remember how I was pointing out that last week on this show, Damian Priest had uh, had been beaten mm-hmm. in that match. Yeah. And then a week later, he's just got a world title match. Mm-hmm. And I noted that, you know, whatever the finish was last week, Vince had changed it, which means the original finish was not Damian Priest winning, okay, or losing. It was someone else getting beaten, whoever that might be. I don't know who was going to win, lose, whatever. But he changed the finish, okay? So, you know, there was a point on this show where, you know, they're going back and forth, and uh, and somebody said something. I think Finn was saying something, and and uh, maybe it was Seth goes, he fared a lot better than you did. And I thought, what? Priest fared better than Finn. No, actually, Priest got pinned last week. So, no, he did not fare better than than Finn Balor. So I'm wondering if, like, you know, Finn was supposed to get pinned last week and Priest was supposed to win, and and whoever was doing this promo just did the same promo they were planning to cut, but then everything got screwed up. So anyway, I presume that Priest was not supposed to lose last week, and Vince, for whatever reason, decided, hey, let's beat this guy for reasons unknown. Maybe maybe the, the change was made because now they're going to do Finn Balor versus uh, Seth next. And they didn't want to beat Finn because Finn's, I don't know, who cares. But anyway, they, they agreed to do a match later. And the key, and I don't think this is going to be, you know, immediate because the way that Hunter books, you know, everything takes time. But, uh, you know, Priest said, I want to do this by myself. I don't want the judgment day down there. And then later in the show, uh, during the main event, that's at your house. Yeah, we're watching a dog. <sighs> Lance's dog? No, mm-hmm. he's not all up in the mic, so you know it's not Lance's dog. Well, anyway, later, uh, Damien Priest is doing the main event by himself, and Finn tries to interfere, and Damien Priest yells at him, like, what are you doing down here? And Finn kind of was taken aback by that. So the point is, you know, over the next couple of months, uh, Finn Balor and Damien Priest in the Judgment Day, there's going to be a split, and Damien Priest is going to be going babyface. It can happen soon, but that's that's clearly the seeds they're planting here. Becky beats Sony in a Money in the Bank qualifier. Just constant interference by Chelsea, which the ref, he had no problem with. But Becky won. She is in Money in the Bank. This went way longer than I would have expected. We had a Kevin and Sammy promo where Imperium showed up, and they're clearly leading to a tag match. But in the meantime, we got Gunther and Kevin Owens. Now, Dave didn't like this finish, okay? I didn't have a problem with it because they're clearly setting up a tag match, and what you need is for one of Imperium to get a win over Kevin Owens or Sami Zayn, and uh, it happened here where Kaiser ran down, KO gave him the stunner, but then Gunther rolled him up and pinned him. You know, that's going to set up the tag match. But, man, dude, this match, forget the finish, dude. This match ruled. It was so great. They pummeled each other. They beat the hell out of each other. They did all their big moves. They're kicking out. This place was going nuts for the end of this match. And, uh, hey, you know, I've seen a lot of matches this good that ended in a DQ or something stupid. Hey, we got to finish. There was interference, but you know what? Fine. I mean, uh, the, the fact of the matter is Gunther didn't beat him clean. And you can go back to this match at some point for Gunther's title, which I'm totally down for because if this was this good on Raw, imagine this is a pay-per-view match. Kevin Owens versus Gunther for that title. We had a Riddle promo where he beat up Imperium. Then we had a Ronda and Shayna celebration. They're celebrating their their title win. And uh, this Ronda Rousey, like, I don't know. She's so weird. You ever notice how weird Ronda Rousey is? Yeah. Probably have to follow her outside of wrestling. Yeah. But uh, she said, anyone who has the figurative balls to face us mm-hmm. just has to ask. And so, uh, you know, up walked 
uh, Katana and Caden. They wanted a match in their debut. And uh, as soon as it happened, I was like, man, they're beating these two in their debut. I don't they're know party about girls. that. Yeah, the, the, the interview was horrible. But the match itself, like I will say, Ronda and Shayna gave them a ton. And they sold and they sold and they sold. And then finally at the end, you know, there was some double teaming. And then uh, Shayna choked out Caden Carter. But, I mean, yeah, they got beaten in their debut. But I've seen a lot worse than this. Like, they they sold a lot for them before they beat him in the end. So it ended up being a good showing. Mm. We had uh, Nakamura and Ricochet, where, uh, you know, Bronson had done an interview. And he goes, I can't figure out why you're in this King of the Ring and I'm not. Because I beat you a few weeks ago. And Ricochet goes, well, we both had qualifiers. I won mine. You lost yours. And Bronson's like, ah, it's beside the point. I'll beat that Nakamura again someday. Heel. And so Nakamura faced Ricochet. It was good while it lasted. Bronson hit the ring for the DQ. He killed both of these dudes. He crushed Ricochet with a tsunami to the back, which, golly. And then the fans chanted one more time. (laughs) Sucks to be old Ricochet. (laughs) Bronson was like, I ain't doing it again. You marks. And he left, got heat. That was good. We had a preposterous. I, I don't care what he, nobody here can convince me. Even if Vince McMahon himself called in and claimed this, I'd say he was lying. Vince is one hundred percent the person behind this Alpha Academy stuff. It's just the oh. most. You yes. got you got a silly guy who's short. You got a fat guy who's there for comedy, and you have the the hot woman whose gimmick is that she's just hot. Like that's the gimmick, and you know he wants uh, Gable wants her to wrestle. But she can't wrestle in that dress. And she goes, don't worry. I've got an outfit in my locker. And she walks off and their eyes grow wide. And by the way, they never had a follow-up on this show. So in storyline, she's she's still in her locker now. Or she's going to put on the she put on the outfit yesterday. And she's going to wear it for seven days before the next Raw show when she starts training. Can I throw this out there? Got to go quick. This is going to end like the Steiners and Doom, isn't it? She's finally going to seduce Otis, get him in a room, and then somebody's going to beat the hell out of him. It's possible. It's going to happen. It's possible. Miz TV with Cody Rhodes, where they brought out Dominic Mysterio. And uh, we talked about this earlier, but it's going to be very interesting to watch this show because Cody is uh, arguably the biggest babyface in the company right now. Dom is by far the the most hated heel. He's more hated than Roman. And uh, in theory, like, these two having a match should have tremendous heat. But of late, like, you know, Dominic's matches have not had a lot of heat. Now, granted, he has not faced anybody like Cody Rhodes. So uh, we're going to see. I can't wait to see that match. I think that match is going to be a lot of fun. Zoe beat Natty. Money in the Bank qualifier. Zoe is now in Money in the Bank. We had a Paul Heyman promo. Where he said, he did not, by the way, say that this was not a prediction, it was a spoiler. He said Friday, Jay Uso was going to have to make his choice. Whose side are you on? And he says he's going to stand by the side of his brother. Solo. So Friday has to make a big choice. And I think the choice is going to be that he does stand by his brother solo. So that they can do a three-on-one deal with poor Jimmy for a while. And then, you know, it'll be like uh, like The Empire Strikes Back or Return of the Jedi. Which one was it where that guy was blasting Vader with the... Or he was blasting Luke and then Vader made the save for his son? I think that's what's going to end up happening here. They're all going to be killing poor Jimmy Uso and, and you know, Jay's going to all of a sudden shoot lightning out of his fingers or something. And Dom, where are you? Save his brother. Yeah. Thank you. Return of the Jedi, Jedi? it says. Yeah. And what does Dom know? He wasn't even born when that movie came out. He's a pro. Get out of here. Of course it was Return of the Jedi. That's the one my daughter won't watch because there's too much lightning bull. She doesn't like that forced lightning. She don't like it one bit. And then Seth and Damian Priest for the World Heavyweight title. Although there are those little cuddly Ewoks, but the force, yeah. the hatred of forced lightning overrides the love of those cuddly little critters. High spots. Seth beat Damian when uh, Finn's interference backfired. And uh, that match was a good main event. And uh, they set the seed for that turn later on down the road. And then Seth and Finn had a stare down as the show ended. So that's coming up next. You can also find me at Vincent Verhey on Cameo. Oh, my God. I will send you a happy birthday wish. 
<laughs> I will send you a happy anniversary wish. Granny, you ever thought about being on Cameo? What is it? My computer, my front page is uh, uh, Microsoft. And I g go through there and see all kinds of lies and stuff like that. And here you are. You're doing a commercial. And then you had me on there when I was ranting about WrestleMania. Did you get my permission? Oh, okay. Wait, what? Just, what? Just stop You're, for a second. Your front page is Microsoft. I guess. I don't even know what that means, your front page is Microsoft. What do you mean you go through there and see all the lies? What does that mean? Well, they have a whole bunch of stuff, you know, about this and that and this and that, you know, all kinds like of news. Like the news? News? I don't post the videos. I don't edit the videos. If you saw some video or some commercial... I have no idea what it is or where it came from or who edited it together. I'm sure it was someone from the site. It's not, no, Tony, it's not Tony, and it's not Dave, and it's not me. And it's not Vinny who's busy doing cameos. That's right. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.